Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Flow Designer where we will be discussing about a real world use case or an interview question which was asked during the interview. So we will be discussing first of all the use case and then we will be implementing that in ServiceNow. And if you are liking my content, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. So this is the use case. As a ServiceNow admin, I want to create a problem ticket as soon as a P1 incident is resolved so that we can do root cause analysis of the P1 incident. This is quite common in all the organizations that if a P1 or a P2 incident has occurred, they go ahead and open a problem ticket so that they can do the root cause analysis. So this kind of incident doesn't happen again. In this implementation, we will be automating that process so that nobody has to go in and manually open a problem ticket. Let's see the logic how we will be doing it. This can be implemented in two ways. One is through business rules and one is through flow designers. I have already created a video where I implemented this use case through business rules. The link is on the top right corner and in the description as well. In this video, we will be implementing this through flow designers. So this would be the logic. We will be going ahead and creating a flow. Obviously, the trigger condition would be when a P1 incident is marked as resolved. So remember a P1 incident and then we will be going ahead and creating a problem ticket and attach it to the incident record. Let's go ahead and implement this in ServiceNow. I'm in my ServiceNow instance and I have already opened the workflow studio. I will click on new and then I will click on flow. And here I will give the name as flow designer use case 8 maybe. And I will click on build flow on bottom right. And now we have to give a trigger condition. And like we discussed, we will be triggering this when a record is created or updated and the table name should be incident. I will select the incident table and I will put the condition as state is resolved and the priority is 1. So I will select priority here and I will select one critical. You can go ahead and add more conditions if you want. Maybe if you want to add too high or moderate, it's up to you. But I will remove these as of now. And now I will click on done. So our trigger conditions are all set. And now we will go ahead and create a problem ticket. For this, I will add an action. And for this, I will select create record action. The table would be problem. So I will go ahead and select problem here. And then we have to give the fields which we have to populate. So we will be populating minimal fields because this is a test. But in the real world, your stakeholders will give you the requirements which fields you have to populate. So we will go to problem ticket. And we will look at an existing problem ticket. What could be we providing as an initial value? We will copy incidents short description as problem statement and description of incident as description of the problem. So we will be mapping these two fields. I will go back to the flow designer and I will write here problem statement and I will drag and drop the short description from the incident. I will just scroll down a bit and then I will just drag and drop this short description. I will add another field called description which is on the problem ticket and I will search for description on the incident record and we can see this is here. I'll just drag and drop this as well. I will click on done. And now a problem record would be created on step number one. Now the next step is we have to link these two tickets, the incident and the problem. 
for that i will show you the incident list and how we will be linking that i will click on personalized list and i will search for problem here and you can see we have a field called problem this field is used to link incident and problem tickets so you see here right now there are no problems linked to any incident but when we resolve a p1 incident it should be automatically linked i will go back to my flow and here i will click an action and i will select update record and i will select this and then i will select the incident record and drag and drop it here and i will update the problem field i will select problem here and i will drag and drop the problem record i will click on done and now we are ready with our use case one thing to note here is there might be a probability that somebody actually went in and created a problem ticket manually so you may want to put another condition in the trigger that and the problem id field is empty only then we should be running this use case let's go ahead and put that condition also i will select here problem and is empty so this field should be empty that means there is no problem ticket attached to this incident i will click on activate and as soon as i activate this this use case or this flow should be applicable to all the incidents now we will go ahead and create a new incident i can give the name as maybe able tutor i can say the short description as flow designer use case 8 and i will copy the sh short description and paste it in description and i can maybe add some more text here and i will increase the impact and urgency of this ticket and i will make the priority as one critical and i will save this now a new incident has been created in our system or in our pdi now we have to go ahead and resolve this i will click on drop down of state and i will mark this ticket as resolved i can select anything in the resolution code and i will save the ticket now and now you see the ticket has been saved and it is resolved so a new problem ticket should have been created i will go to the problem list and you can see a new problem ticket has been actually created if i go into this the description should be copied to the problem statement that's copied and description of incident should be copied to the description and that is working correctly now we have to see if these two tickets are linked to each other or not for that i will scroll down in the problem ticket and you would see there is an incident which is linked to this problem ticket with this short description and you can see the caller is able tutor and this is the incident which was just updated by us which is ending with 005 and we can see this is the same incident number here linked to this problem ticket i hope this video was helpful to you and you learned something new in flow designer using this amazing and easy use case if you still have any problems please let me know in the comments thanks for watching video till the end and please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button